So today we're going to be testing the CCI mini mag regular hollow points versus the mini mags with the screwdriver mod. You can see the little uh, cutout in them. All right, we're going to shoot out a block of clay we got over here and just kind of check out the expansion. And from Paul Harrell, we got the uh, high tech fleece bullet stop behind there, so it should stop the bullet if it goes all the way through. Alright, let's give it a shot and we'll pause it and uh, check things out. Ooh, a little left. That's a block. I hit a little off center, gave it a nice lump on the outside, but it went all the way through out the back. The cavity in there is huge. You probably can't see because the camera, but it's pretty, uh, so I can't put it up here. Open it up a little bit. Might be able to see that better. I left a pretty big, uh, pretty big cavity all the way down in there. We'll check if, the, if we can get the bullet after. A mini mag screwdriver mod. Again, we're using the usual M&P 22 compact. Right, let's give it a shot, try to hit the middle this time. That's better. All right, and this is the uh, standard hollow point. Ah, uh, sorry, screwdriver mod hollow point. And one side, out the back. We'll show you the bullets after we've already found, let's say one and a half of them. Look at that big cavity. That's bigger all the way down. Look at that. That definitely left a, uh, a bigger cavity. The other one tightened right up kind of towards the end a little bit. All right, well, let's just shoot it freestanding like this and just watch what happens. All right, so now we're gonna shoot the remaining two screwdriver mods just for the hell of it, and then I'll Put the uh, regular ones in. We'll fire that all in one uh, one little clip here. Get that out of the way of the shell. Yeah, good idea. All right. Top left and then top right. I'm trying to go low. Something came. All right. There's the two. Obviously, we're not going to see much of a difference here, but the two uh, screwdriver mods and the two regular hollow point. Exit wound on this one's pretty ugly, but actually so is that, the standard one here. So... Where's the other? Uh, came oh, over right there. And yeah, really tight little hole, this one here. Yeah. The bolts are doing something interesting, we'll show you once we get inside. Um, after they expand, they're basically breaking apart the top separating from the bottom so they're fully all the bolts we shot expanded fully but you can see those look at the size of that wound on the screwdriver mod see in there let me open this one up too same with that one I mean pretty similar results except they tighten up a little quicker yeah I might say there's not too awfully much of a difference really Except these seem to do a little bit more damage. Results from uh, the clay test. Kind of some unexpected results. Definitely unexpected. It seemed like everything expanded, but here's your normal expanded screwdriver mod hollow point. And this is through water. You see the it mushroomed out right on top of itself pretty good. This this isn't one we shot today. This is one we shot in a previous test. Um, but you can see where the base of the bullet, you can almost see that round shape is almost trying to come through. Well, when shooting the clay, something interesting happened. This is what we found first. Now, for, if you're familiar with the size of the 22, the bullet itself, I should have grabbed one, but the round itself is about three times this size. This is just a little, less than a quarter inch little stub. And it was 
outside in the clay in the fleece in the bucket uh, so what happened with these bullets going through the clay both the um, non-modified and the modified hollow points they mushroomed to such an extent that the whole top end ripped off let me see if I can get this See, that's the jacket and the lead. They mushroom to such an extent that the base of the bullet, basically it became so mushroomed out. But anyways, the base of the bullet came out it expanded and the expansion the expanded part of the bullet was traveling slow enough and the base of the bullet was still going fast enough that it actually basically punched through itself the base of the bullet the jacket the mushroom part broke off and shredded off and um, didn't stay through the target didn't stay in the target for the most part most of it actually still went through the clay but I mean that would cause pretty severe damage the um the mushroom part becoming basically its own projectile almost like fragmenting from the base of the bullet here and this is a little bit of a messier example still got clay all over it but there's another little stubby that was the um uh screwdriver mod one here first one i showed you was a was the basic hollow point and that's what's left of the jacketed part. Get in there. So it mushroomed out and deformed enough that it became detached. The bullet basically broke, fragmented. This one, in kind of a strange fashion. Pretty gnarly found another piece from this is from the test when when we just shot the clay standing up we, so I don't know if this one is the hollow pull the standard hollow point with the screwdriver mod but long story short they both behaved through the clay pretty much identical they both expanded um, I do it does appear and I do feel that the hollow the uh, screwdriver mod you could see a bigger wound cavity like it expanded more but here's another one that we found in the snow behind where we shot the clay. There's the part of the fragmented mushroom tip, let's just say mushroom tip, expanded part of the bullet, the jacket, and all the lead with another little stub. So pretty unexpected. I did not think they would expand and the bullets were going fast enough to actually tear in two. Um, yeah, just another couple more scraps here of the torn mushroom, mushroomed out part. This one still has some of the uh, case on it, the copper case, copper jacket. And again, I'll show you the difference between these little stubbies and a full size fired. 22. Look how much those bullets fragmented and how much of this came off, how much material mushroomed out and came off the bullet. If I put it together you can kind of see a little bit better what I mean. That bullet mushroomed out to its very end basically and then this was torn off this mushroomed out part stretched and torn and then this kept traveling a little further this little stubby so that's those bullets coming out of a 22 pistol are going surprisingly fast doing a lot of damage I mean that was 25 pounds of clay long wise lengthwise and it went right through um, hitting the fleece and stopping in the fleece. Thanks, Paul Harold, 
for that. I uh, watch all your videos, and that actually works. Um, again, this one's still got all the clay stuck to it. So let's just line them up again. These these were the first two we fired. The hall. I don't know which one was the. I did until I mixed them up. I don't know which one was the screwdriver mod and which one wasn't. Like I said, I did before, but that guy went with him. This debris went with this guy right here. And this was either part of this one, I believe it was the other bit of that. So they expanded to that extent and this one I think is the best um, so either way they're gonna expand I think I still think the screwdriver mod through certain mediums have better penetrating powers um, but I've shown in that previous video that the standard CCI mini mags will will expand most of the time out of a, blow, out of a pistol So is it worth doing? I would still say at close range into a person, I would say yes, it's going to help it expand quicker. And it's going to, you know, if you don't hit something as hard, it it's going to help with expansion. It can't hurt. I mean, you're already starting the process by cutting into the metal, so it definitely helps. But is it necessary? I don't think so. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll get, a hang, get the hang of making videos and make them a little bit better from now on. I did have my brother over here helping me with the camera, which was nice, but we didn't really plan anything out. We just went out and started shooting, so I'm just kind of telling him when to pause and when to play. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.